Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe. As you guys can see, today's video is in collaboration with True Glory. If you guys are from Atlanta, y'all know they were like the go-to wig company, bundle company since the beginning of time. So I collaborated with them today to actually show you this really cute side part quick weave that's gonna more so mimic your natural hair. Um, I was initially going for a bob, but then y'all, I realized my hair has grown so much. So I'm just showing you how I was sectioned all my hair out um I did actually have my hair pre like in some cornrows for about two days just in a protective style nothing too too fancy so it's already nice and hydrated moisturized and then of course I decided I wanted to do like an l-shaped part and so if you are not that experienced with parting definitely definitely take your time because I did not make it a point to try to show you that step by step just because my head is not your head and so you definitely want to do what works for you find what part you actually want and then I suggest taking about a half an inch on each side around where you want your part to sit um, as your leave out I hope that makes sense if not play this back a couple times now in terms of actually just laying everything down I wanted to uh, of course get my braid pattern as smooth as possible but I did not feel like you know just doing the smallest braids in the world so I did do about an inch with uh braids and then I just pretty much had everything going straight to the back I did slowly connect all of my braids as I continued that braiding pattern um of course you're seeing the sped up version but you guys will kind of notice that my parts will not completely straight I didn't want to waste too much time trying to set my part super perfect obviously I'm doing this on myself it was if it was on someone else yes they would definitely be perfect but in this case if you are going to be doing this at home you are a beginner do not stress about it because I promise it's not going to matter all of this is going to be covered obviously with the cap so super proud of my hair girls <laughs> um if you guys have been following me since the beginning of time or more recently about a year and a half ago i did a big chop if you missed that video definitely take uh, some time to check it out because i had a ton of damage and this is how far we've come so super proud about that if you guys did not know i do have my hair uh demi rinsed i use the ion color bright if you take a look at my instagram i also have a video there to show you the step by step how i uh yeah get my hair to be this jet back color jet black color <laughs> so you guys can see that I'm actually just tucking in my braid not using any pins not sewing anything all that I did was pretty much connect all the braids going around and then just tuck it under I'm actually going to double up the cap now usually I would use two black caps but obviously in this case I really wanted to be able to show you for a demonstration purposes what everything looks like because when it's like a lot of just black on black y'all are like girl I can't see so let me help you out right so I put a new cap underneath and then a black cap on top just to kind of help hide obviously the cap as we start to build the tracks and then I took this super bright uh I believe this was like an eyeliner pin or something and I know this is probably such a nice pin oh well <laughs> I'm just finding the area that I carved out my part this does not have to be perfect you actually want this to be either directly on top of where the part is if you are more skilled and then if you aren't you really would want this to be like if you're a beginner please uh, outline a little bit away from where your technical part is if that makes sense because what we're going to be doing is building the tracks around this line and it's going to act as like a guard against you over placing the tracks and you definitely don't want to get the glue on your natural hair especially on that leave out area so yeah this is a really good kind of like blueprint to what your hair should look like before you get started especially if you are a beginner so of course true glory uh had me come into their store i'm going to create like a cute little room <laughs> it may actually already be up by the time this video goes live but I did visit their Smyrna location which is not too far from me and I did actually pick up their 12 inch bundles of their silky straight and uh, yeah here I'm just measuring out everything I know sometimes when we do the quick weave we like to kind of build it up slowly but to me it's a complete waste of time and waste of hair for the most part so what I like to do is uh, pretty much seal the very first track going from one end of the leave out area to the other and then I fill in the gaps that way I'm making sure that all the hair is laying towards my face and I don't have to worry about those weird like gaps not having enough hair towards the front not being able to blend my natural hair and its natural thickness with the thickness of the weave so like this eliminates so many other issues that you may have had so I definitely recommend stacking uh, the tracks like you're gonna stack like an invisible part 
if you're not familiar with that, I don't want to confuse you. So <laughs> just follow this method. I don't want to over talk this. You guys can see where I started to kind of build this around, keeping all parts even from the top of my head, not from where I can see. That's why I used the mirror. And then I'm going to go ahead and pretty much build the tracks layering towards the front of my face just for a little bit more volume fullness towards the front and then once we uh, pretty much cross that line that I was kind of showing you uh, in the last clip then I did go ahead and just fill everything else in so from here I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and uh, continue the tracks all the way around and then once I'm done I'll be right back Right, guys so now that we pretty much have all the tracks set we want to go ahead and just pull out this cap I'm going to start by cutting off the black cap just for the purposes of you being able to see that the cap is not moving <laughs> I know y'all are always like Chrissy like how is the cap listen I get it it's kind of confusing it doesn't make sense to me sometimes either but y'all is glue it makes total sense the cap is not moving anywhere as long as you build those I'm sorry I'm so sarcastic <laughs> as long as you continue to build those tracks side by side going from end to end and making sure that you don't go across the cap while doing so you should be able to just cut it it should not slide back if you need the extra security you can absolutely sew down the perimeter of the cap around the areas where your leave out is um, but I did not need to do that because in this case I wanted to be able to like really easily take this off the two caps is going to serve as not only a barrier but also a protection to my hair as well so um from the glue right and so because i did go ahead and pre-part this makes it so easy to go ahead and just blend the style without having to make sure that i have even hair on each side because i've kind of took the leg work out in the beginning so i am going to go ahead and just uh smooth over my hair with the fhi flat iron y'all know the og okay element of p um i did let you guys know that my hair was previously in cornrows i had actually uh used my oil to go ahead and just oil my scalp so it is a little bit weighed down which is what i prefer when I do my quick weaves because sometimes my hair can just come off really really fr really frizzy so I did uh, blow dry my hair before doing the cornrows with heat protectant layered up with all types of leave-in conditioners um, and then of course sealed with oil so it is a little bit more weighed down but it's gonna help with the blending process um, especially with my texture so if you have a texture similar that is a trick to really getting like a smoother install and you guys can see voila like everything is blending perfectly if you want to stop here you absolutely can but y'all know <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and just step it up just a notch and make this more like me so um i'm just quickly showing you where my hair actually is versus where the weave is so the the weave itself was about a oh, what 12 inch and so i'm assuming my natural hair must be at about a 10 inch now super happy about that and then for uh, a light edge control i'm actually taking the edge booster this is like in the standard hold it's not the extra strength that I was using previously um, and I'm just like smoothing out my edges and then this little trick that I've been using is taking a little bit of the pump it up spraying it on my finger and lightly dabbing over the areas where I set the edge control y'all it locks it into place okay not going anywhere so for those of you with those questions there you go so this is pretty much the look um, I decided that I was not gonna do a shorter bob I really really wanted to do like an eight inch bob but that would require me to cut in to my natural hair which didn't really make sense for the style so i'm not gonna do it um, i'm just gonna go ahead and leave everything about this length and then i decided i was gonna go ahead and add just a few more curls to it <laughs> oh yeah see look at that so y'all i'm like literally an inch or two away from the 12 inch so <laughs> i am so excited but yes so i'm gonna go ahead and throw some curls in here i did end up using my uh, i believe this was the eap heat one inch uh flat iron and i'm just gonna go ahead and smooth through everything and you guys can see when you flip back the hair everything is covered especially with this side part if you wanted to leave out extra hair around the other side of your head you could but we want to keep it as protective as possible with as little heat as you can i'm just putting some loose curls in here nothing too too crazy and then of course y'all know i'm just gonna go ahead and finger uh curl finger curl them out <laughs> 
<laughs> y'all know what i meant i'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers just to kind of pick apart the curls i did notice some areas that uh needed to be like recurled so i did go over certain spots but overall i was pretty much happy with the way that everything looks i really really wanted to make sure that everything was nice and blended so definitely make sure that you use your mirror that way you can ensure that everything is covered we don't need any track showing and then i did go ahead and just trim off just the little frizzy bits um at the end nothing too too strategic and then i just double checked my work in the back just to make sure that everything is kind of lined up because keep in mind this is curled so obviously when i shade it again straighten it again it will end up needing to be like you know balanced out and perfectly cut and all that stuff but just for now this is fine it's given very much natural and look at the part so you can see that the l shape is not a literal l shape but it's just kind of like a curved part which gives more of that natural effect versus just doing that you know ear to ear straight back one inch or well, four inch part that most people do right so definitely let me know what you guys think about this i'm so sorry y'all i talked this whole voiceover i did not think i was gonna do that but <laughs> i wanted to make this as detailed as possible it took me about an hour and a half just to kind of seal the style if you wanted to wash this you absolutely could just go in the shower really really cold water hit you know hit it with a shampoo conditioner and you are done so leave me in the comments or questions down below i love you guys so much stay pretty and i will see you in my next video bye babies